from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings LA Late. It's a great morning here on, on, on Mornings LA Late, live on air with breaking news about the markets and more stimulus. A wonderful viewer, longtime viewer, Spelly, who had gotten check A, $6,500 to $12,000, and had gotten check C, nearly forty dollars to $50,000 available for check C. He got a brand new tablet. And if that sounds exciting, it's actually better because he watched another viewer, John Malou, who had gotten $20,000 and a brand new tablet on the channel this week alone, and that inspired Spelly to do the same. This broadcast will do the same for you as well, as I'll inspire and show you how massive stimulus is available. FSC, nearly $300,000 of checks, 300 checks, coming up in today's recording for you in every U.S. state from the federal government. I ask the inflation relief stimulus checks and LSEs, the lifetime stimulus checks. But the breaking news that happened at the end of yesterday, fascinating as we go into a new week. The markets dramatically up, and where did this come from? Fascinating details of today's broadcast with nearly 18 pages of notes for today's show alone. We have inflationary data release at the tail end of last week. The personal consumption expenditure showed inflation goes down a little bit in the month of September. Fascinating all the latest details on that in today's broadcast. Gross national product showed the U.S. economy posted a positive number for growth of the U.S. economy in the third quarter. Why was that? And then on Friday, the market's up 800 points again. In fact, how high was this market up? It's the best performing month on recorded history since 1987, January 1987. But today in today's broadcast, you'll see another omen or potentially warning signal because what happened in October of 1987, the worst single market crash day in recorded history, nearly down 24 points. So are we setting ourselves up for a major crash in just weeks after this major rally? Of all the breaking news, as companies now reporting the best numbers since 1927 in just less than a week, it's fascinating. It's all here. It's all happening. The breaking news, a lot of it, in this massive jaw-dropping, supersized morning's broadcast starts right now. And good morning. Inflationary data released on Thursday showed that the U.S. economy is improving on the inflationary front. And with that data, not a lot of other surprises for this economy going into a new week. But with that, the markets rallying up to historic levels not seen since the Reagan administration. What's going on? I got to tell you, this is a supersized broadcast. It's like none other. We have massive stories, massive breaking news, massive success stories for stimulus cleaning up this broadcast. And yes, 18 pages of notes. I'm going to fly through it and hopefully get it all covered for you today. Hope you're having a beautiful morning. Thank you for joining me on Mornings. The latest breaking deals is that massive stimulus is available in every U.S. state. FSC federal stimulus checks from the federal government. And you heard the surprise. Last week, a viewer named John Maloof had been watching this channel and watched when I got to check in in this morning's broadcast and then said, I got it. He got the check in as I recorded check in. This check in is a brand new tablet and he got that brand new tablet and was watching the show while it aired on mornings with that tablet. I recorded that the next day, but guess what happened the next day for John Maloof? He then got $20,000 of stimulus from this channel. He's a member, less than 30 days. Stimulus, $20,000. Stimulus, brand new tablet. Now, this is where the story gets really exciting. That was earlier this week. Overnight, just minutes ago, I got a beautiful series of messages from longtime viewer Spelly. You know him because he has already gotten check A, $6,500 or $12,000. Check C, $45,000 80000 And he did exactly what I tell you on this channel to keep on pouncing as a Purple Hawk for more checks. So he watched John Maloof, and his message to me was the following. 
hey, Allied, I was watching your show and I saw that guy. He didn't know John's name by heart. I watched that guy get that brand new tablet. And I said, I want that tablet. I want one myself. That's the mentality you want to have. He said, I want that tablet like that every year I got. So I listened and I heard you say it's stimulus. And I went down the member stimulus newsletter. I applied and I got it too. <laughs> I love that. That's a double whammy of great news. Why? Because John Maloof inspired Spelly. That's how we walk and roll. And Spelly brought that motivation to go get other stimulus because he was watching the show and realized, you know what? I don't just stop with one stimulus. I keep on getting other stimuluses. That's how we do it on this channel. With that, let's go over the breaking news that impacts your wallet. And we're going to go back over to listen to some of those checks in just a second. It was a fascinating day. It was a fascinating week, and it has become a fascinating month for this market. Shares of Apple up 8% Friday as the tech giant beat on top revenue and beat on bottom, which is earnings. Intel was up 11% as it beat as well. Amazon, however, did not go the same direction. It was down 7% on Friday alone after it missed on top and bottom. T-Mobile jumped higher, 7.4% up after it beat across the board. So there you go, just a little bit of a sense of what happened on that day. But McDonald's, this is a great company for you and I to look at because we're trying to get a sense of the average consumer. Are they spending? Do they have the money? What's going on? McDonald's Shaw saw shares rise 4% as um, it gave new guidance and Morgan Stanley uh, upgraded it to an overweight. It's just indicative of what's going on. Now, here's the overview of what we saw on Friday. The market was up 828 points. Wow, on Friday, which is 3% on just Friday alone. And here you go. This now wraps a five-week trend line up. The last time we've had five weeks straight up for this market is November 2021. And when you look at the 30 stock index, the last time they performed this well was in January 1976. You can hear another January data later in this broadcast. Don't get them confused. But this is the best uh, performance for, this 30, thir for the thir 30 stock Dow index since 1976. Wow. Caterpillar, which is a very good indicator of the U.S. economy, of course, you know, Caterpillar for big machinery and building things. The stock ended its best week in over a decade, up 15.3%. We has never seen a, a week like that since 2009. Then amidst all this, we had the tech crash or the tech um, wreck, I guess you would call it. It's not really a crash, it's a wreck. We had Alphabet, the parent company of, U of YouTube, miss top and bottom, stock down dramatically. We had Microsoft beat top and bottom, but Dower Guide for Cloud for fourth quarter, its stock was down dramatically. And then we had Facebook, Meta, down, uh, miss on top and bottom. The stock is down now 75% year to date. Really bad news. And Meta on Friday got even more bad news, as was Downward Guide. It was downgraded by Edward Jones. And yes, it's down nearly 70, 75% year to date. So McDonald's <laughs> is indicative of why this economy is so confusing. Americans are spending record sums of money. And later in this broadcast, we're going to go over that spending habit. But it evidenced itself in McDonald's on third quarter earnings beat top and beat on revenue uh, as well. And that stock was up 3%, 2 to 3% on Friday across the board. This, my friends, is why you want to get a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Let's go over some of these numbers right now in overview. The last time the markets have had a month this strong was in January 1976. Wow. When you compare Octobers to prior Octobers, the last October that performed this well for the U.S. economy, the stock market, was October 1896. Yes, we have not seen the stock market perform this well in another October since 1896. What do you think they were wearing for Halloween on 1896? I think in the, for Halloween 1896, they were dressed as Mitch. <laughs> I mean, he, he was the costume back in 1896 as well. <laughs> 
<laughs> there we go. This is why you have to get a force the most chuck in every US state. Let's jump in those incredible chucks right now. They start with FFC checks that were done by Joseph Biden and then the Congress back in the spring. Let's look at those incredible checks right now. FSC means federal stimulus checks. President and also Congress made law in the month of March. Viewers have been getting them ever since. Let's look at those incredible checks right now. First, it started with A, B, and C. Check A, B, and C done by the President of the United States by executive action in the month of March. Huge. It's federal stimulus because it comes from the federal government. The people in Washington, they pay it. They put it in the mail. They run the application. Your states have nothing to do with them. $100,000 on average. Passed by executive action of Joseph Biden in the month of March. Viewers have been getting them ever since. Then came along checks E through K. Passed by Congress, by executive action, huge. We're going to go over those checks in just a second. Then came checks L and M, N and O, P and Q, bringing us to hundreds of checks that members of this channel have been cleaning up on. And how do you get these incredible checks? You go into this video, join the channel, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. And then you get that newsletter and apply for those checks. You're watching LA Light, America's number three most watched financial news channel in America. LA Light was launched in spring of 2020 and today has captivated a nation. Since 2020, it has now become number three in the United States with now three broadcasting channels, LA Light 1, LA Light 2, and LA Light 3. During that duration, viewers have gotten $50 million from this channel for stimulus. And I'm always finding you more stimulus. Membership is under this video joined today with the nearly 100 new members joining every 48 hours. You become a member, you go down the membership news, you click the link and you go right and apply and get all those incredible checks. Now I'm going to show you how to do every check in this recording. So stay to the big second half as I go through the nearly 300 different checks of FSCs and then I go over to inflation release stimulus checks and lifetime stimulus checks in just a second. But let's go back into that data that came in from Wall Street on Friday because boy folks, it is confusing, and it's also quite surprising. So now that we're halfway through the third quarter of earnings for corporate America, what do we see so far? Beats or misses? Beat means it's higher than expected. Misses means it's lower than expected. Are you ready for this one? Another surprise. For earnings, which is bottom, 80% of companies so far reporting are beating. When we talk about revenue, 70% are, are beating on that one as well. So really quite impressive. This is as Friday showed massive pop upward for Intel and Apple after the train wreck of this week impacted other companies like Meta and Alphabet. Here's an example of how confusing this uh, market is. What do we have? Well, Amazon fell 10% on Friday alone alone and intel was up 10 percent. intel is usually a very bland stock apple was up eight percent alone on friday and here comes costco and are you paying attention <laughs> costco got upgraded by morgan stanley says the next year could be a special year does that mean they're gonna have more pizza i think they will <laughs> analysts at morgan stanley says 2023 is going to be a big year for costco because of penetration in other countries that the concept of retail is growing and that the proposition of com competition in a club channel is getting t is getting less so costco should more dominate and that means you're going to be having more pizza <laughs> that means the membership of this channel is going to be at costco and having more pizza i mean they're probably having it for breakfast right now <clears throat> you know you are and <laughs> let's jump into some of the data we know for this new week the new week um it has a lot of historic data. Since 1950, the five days after October 28th have generally been up about 2% for the market. So since 1928, we have gone straight up for the next five days after October 28th. Now, are you ready for this data point? You've not heard this before on this channel. You're hearing it for the first time here right now. And I'm going to say it very slowly. And I got to tell you, Today on Afternoons LA, you're going to see me sort of get shocked. Um, if you were with this channel in 2020, there was one time that I was shocked. It doesn't compare to this one. But in 2020, I was on air, I was outside, and someone passed me a note. It was actually featured in one of the, one of the specials of the show because it is a shocking moment. I was on air, I was passed a note, and, and the note said, the, um, 
the rioters are coming in. They're burning down structures. And that's literally what happened while I was on air. It was really shocking. It was a scary moment. And that was the massive rioting in the West LA that happened while I was on air. Um, and it was a shocking moment. But on Afternoon's LA today, I had a shocking moment in different regards. Because I'm at this sentence in my notes, which I somehow missed over the prior broadcast. And because I did not read the second half of the sentence. And I stared at it, I said, yeah, it's just like, so let me read you this scary sentence. It's not Halloween, but you're going to get scared. Get ready. So the last time we've seen the market up this high in a single month was January 1987. The last time we've seen this market do this well in a single month was January 1987 when the market was up in one month in 19, January 1987, 30%. Great news. What also happened in 1987? On October 19th, 1987, was the single worst day in U.S. recorded history for the stock market when we crashed 23% in one day. Are you scared now? Yeah. I'm sorry, it's breakfast time. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're if you're spitting out that cup of coffee right now because that might be scary for breakfast time, but I got to tell you, that's why you watch this channel because who would have known that a week ago when we were saying, well, you know, uh, these corporate earnings are not going to look that good. I, I bet they're all going to be bad. Suddenly they came in really good. You watch yesterday's show and you're like, oh, they're looking really good. And now I'm morning's LA and I'm telling you, but wait a second, the last time we saw anything like this, so high straight up. We lost our shirts in the worst stock market crash of October 1987. Yeah, that's why you watch this channel. <laughs> that's why you want to get a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. These incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state have been lost since March of 2020. And viewers are cleaning up all those incredible checks. And with that, let's jump into some incredible checks right now because you need to get them. If this historics is any indication of where we may be going, let's look at those incredible checks right now. The first check is check A, $6,500 to $12,000. It's an FSC. We're starting with FSC. $6,500 to $12,000, a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it as well. How do you get it? You go on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Click the link and become a member, and then go down in the newsletter to see check A. That's the check that Spelly got. You're not done there yet. You're going to go get check B. Check B is fifteen dollars to $80,000, a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. How do you get it? You go around this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Today on Afternoons LA, you're going to see Frank Mancuso, who joined this channel in less than 30 days. He got... 18 months of check B, 18 months of utilities, 18 months of high-speed internet. Also, another view out of Florida. Got $80,000 in less than 30 days for becoming a member. It only costs less than a few dollars to become a member, and that viewer walked away with 80000 Now, Frank Mancuso is a brand-new member, and he now has $20,000 and a brand-new tablet in his hands. The success stories keep on coming in, and that's why you want to become a member. Why would you not if viewers are walking away with tens of thousands of dollars in just the last few days from this channel, become a member? Now, when you become a member, you're going to go down to check C as well. You're going to get check C as well. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Annual income, go get it as well. What is check C? It is rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And we've been getting viewers check C on this channel since December 2020. The track record of your success story is indicative of why people need to become members. Let's look at your success stories. Do you want $30,000 of rent? We'll go get check C. That's what the viewers of this channel have been getting. And then do you want $15,000 of utilities? Go get check C. That's what the viewers of this channel have been getting. Like Mark's brother-in-law. Here's Mark at $6,500. The same brother-in-law went to a quarter million dollars in 10 years for SNAP. Nisi was at $23,000 $23, for combinations of check C. Now she's at $50,000. Here's Mark. He was at $32,000. He went to fifty, dollars and then $100,000 of check C. Uh, and then added on there, check B at 66,000, bringing it to 166. Here's Lorraine, she was at 105, then she went to 155. What do you do? When you're doing check C, you want to go down that membership newsletter, 
And in that membership newsletter, check to see it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. 12 different places to reach out to. You want to do that right away. Let's recap. Check A, B, and C. The first three of those FSC checks, we got a lot more coming up in the big second half. You become a member, you go down the membership newsletter, pounce, apply, and keep on applying for those incredible checks. Now, one of the great benefits of becoming a member is also the worksheets. The L8 worksheets are down around the third page of the L8 newsletter. And one of the important things about that worksheets is to keep track of all that stimulus you're applying for. Viewers are getting lots of stimulus very fast, very quickly on this channel right now, less than one month. And in the second page of the worksheets, here it is in front of me, is a wonderful table for you to keep track of, of how to apply for all that stimulus. Again, become a member. Then in the membership newsletter, down around the third line, is this PDF. You can print it out for yourself on a computer. And you want to keep track of all the stimulus you're applying for. This, ta this ta table was made in March when we only had 20 checks. Now we have a lot more checks. Check B and check C, the average view this channel is getting upwards of 80 to 100 checks because again, their mortgage and their rent and their utilities for 18 months. That's about five checks over 18 months. That's 80 to 100 checks. The only difference is with check C, you've got 12 places to reach out to for those 80 to 100 checks. Now, in the big second half, we continue with more checks of FSC. That's why you want that worksheet in front of you to keep track of all those incredible checks. The success stories for this channel in the recent days have been the following. Last week, Deborah got $18,000. Yes. John Maloof this week getting $20,000 and a brand new tablet. Yes. Spelly overnight getting a brand new tablet on top of his check A and check C. Then in recent days, Lynn Glenn getting 12 months of utilities. Another viewer, 12 months of utilities. Two viewers getting 14 months of rent. Then we have Dragon. She's a longtime triple member to all three channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. She's got 170000 We have Lorraine at 155. We have Johnny, who helped his friends and family get it to, excuse me, his neighbors and, and friends get a quarter million dollars out of 20 of them. Incredible success stories keep on coming in, and you deserve that success as well. Go around right this video, inspire other people. Go around right this video, become a member. Now, let's continue with the breaking news across the board. Jay Powell saw some data come in this week, and I saw it as well, and that data is very important. First, the Person Consumption Expenditure Index showed inflation eased a little bit, less than 1% down. That's great news, because why? That means that your benefits locked in right at the highest price point of the inflationary mountain. Before we start coming down that mountain, great news, congratulations. You got locked into your benefit raise at the highest price point of a generation, because inflation was at the highest price point. Next, we had the the third quarter gross national product or leased this week. And what does that show us? It was a positive number. It came in on Thursday. Now, why is this important? Here's the recap. We, in the first quarter, had a negative GDP number. Second quarter, negative GDP number. And that defines as a recession. Two consecutive negative G GDP quarters is a recession. Earlier in February, I reported the U.S. economy would go in recession, and I got it right. So when the third quarter, third, was reported this Friday, was it negative? No, it was positive. Now, when that number came in, I was expecting the madness, the, the insanity of analysts to come out and say, oh, we never were in a recession. Oh, we left a recession. They did not. Thank goodness. What they said was that positive GDP number means much of nothing. It doesn't mean you don't have a recession. It doesn't mean you left a recession. Absolutely. What I've always taught you on this channel is that when things go down, they don't always go down. Sometimes they go up for a little bit of time and then they go back down. That's what was indicative of that number. With that, let's jump back into the data that we saw on Friday because boy, folks, <laughs> it is a shocker. I'm going to show you right now some companies and I'm going to tell you the last time their stocks traded at the current levels. And what's important to remember is that some of these companies are 200-year-old companies. Some of them are 20-year-old companies. And you're going to be shocked when I'm about to tell you. Amazon has not traded these lows since April 2020. Okay, but let's go to the companies doing great numbers for stock price as of last Friday. T-Mobile has never seen their stock trade these levels ever in recorded history. General Parts, never since it is recorded history since 1948. 
McDonald's never in its recorded history since 1965. O'Reilly Auto Parts never in its recorded history since 1993. PepsiCo, never its recorded history since 1965. The stories keep on coming in. Cigna Health, 1972. Humana, 1968. These companies have never seen their stocks trading at these levels since they've existed. And many of them since 1927. This is absolutely insane. This comes on the news as Wells Fargo as well on Friday said that the penalty, if you missed on corporate earnings, was the worst penalty we've seen in nearly 10 years. The particular situation is that the bottom line is that companies miss on earnings this week. The average penalty is the worst we've seen in nearly 10 years. Wow. In the big second half, we're going to continue with more. We got in the big second half, the consumer sentiment. What did consumers tell us about this economy on Friday, the University of Michigan survey release? What do we have of housing that came in on Friday? Uh, the state of stimulus. We'll be jumping back into those FSC checks. We've got a lot more to go over, a lot of 300 different checks to cover in the big second half. Then we go over to inflation release stimulus checks and then lifetime stimulus checks. It's a big morning's broadcast. It's a supersized morning's broadcast, obviously, like none other. You haven't seen a show like this on mornings in a long time. I'm excited you're here, and we're just getting started from the shores of San Monica, California. We'll be back in 60 seconds with all the breaking news as the toast is toast and the butter is butter. And see you back in 60 seconds on mornings. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues in a big second half on the shores of Santa Monica, California. The inflationary data released on Friday shows the U.S. economy, the inflation is coming down slightly. That's great news for your benefits because that means you locked in the latest raise across the board. In this big second half, we're going to pick up with these FSC checks. Now, hundreds of checks, incredible. Purple Hawks and Purple Power are cleaning up. How do you get them? You become a member, grind this video, then get that newsletter from me Monday through Friday. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. And with that, let's go over how you get these incredible checks right now. The next group of checks were passed by Congress. Checks E through K, and they're absolutely incredible. Let's look at those checks right now. Check E, $7,500. Check F, $4,000. Huge. Check G is an incredible, wonderful 30% off. Check H, $2,000. Check A, I. $8,000, check J, $8,000, and check K, $14,000. Just absolutely incredible. Now, after that, there were additional FSC checks, and what are they? Now, remember, FSC means from federal government. If they pay it, they administer it, has nothing to do with your state. We go into check L, $100,000 on average of loan interest free money, huge. M, $4,000 of free grant money. And then comes stimulus N. It was right here in the morning's broadcast this week when I was live on air and I jumped in the live chat. And there was John Maloof. 
He said, Stimulus N, I got it. I got that tablet, and I'm watching you on that tablet. Yes, yeah, Stimulus N is a brand new tablet, computer, a laptop, 100 towels towards a participating provider, and free internet. Then, Spelly overnight watched this, uh, uh, this week, watched this channel, heard the success story from John Malouf, and then thought, I want that thing as well. He wrote me the message overnight. He says, I watched you talk about that tablet that that other viewer got, and I want it as well. And as a member, I went down the membership newsletter, check in, clicked the link, and applied, and I got the tablet now as well. So congratulations, Spelly. Just incredible. I, that's how we do it. You inspire someone else, you encourage other people, and that becomes infectious in such a great way. Stimulus O, zero down payment, zero closing costs, and a zero um, uh, credit check for a brand new home. Stimulus P and Stimulus Q. P is 3% down for a refi, and Q is $8,000 of free money for you. Huge. And those are your FSC checks, federal stimulus checks. Now let's learn a little bit more about them. Number one, fastest routing time. Two days. Johnny started on a Monday. By Wednesday, he had $45,000. By Friday, he applied at 15 places, seven approved, $80,000 in his hand less than four days. He then helped his mom and dad the next week, each got 50,000, and then helped those 20 friends and neighbors over the next week get a month and get a quarter million dollars. What are these checks for? We have the home repairs, the home appliances, the internet, the telephone, the computer, the uh, all those utilities. We also have the um, wonderful um, items for the car, we got a little bit of everything across the board, nearly $300,000 of those great FSCs. Now, in addition to those FSCs, which you want to lead with because they're big payouts, then we also have inflation relief stimulus checks, ISCs. These come from your states, and they're huge, and they're great. They're about $1,000, number one, and number two, direct deposit, otherwise the mail, how do you learn about them? You become a member. Go down to check D, click the link, and it tells you when the state is administering it, how much it is, and even has a link to the website to track it. Wow, that is incredible. In addition to that, we have then a lifetime stimulus because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Now, no one's explaining this except here for the Purple Power. Let's go over the details of this right now. Your benefits were raised last year at 5.9%. And then you learned on October 13th on this channel, your benefits are going up next year, 8.7%. But no one tells you, one, that that's cumulative. So you went up, and well, you're going to go up on top of that another 8.7%. Plus, no one tells you you're going to get two more raises. Yes, because j Powell says inflation is going to be around two more years. So you're going to get four raises till fourth year. You will have the biggest darn check you've ever had of a generation. And what happens if year four? your cost of living is going to be the cheapest of a generation because inflation is going to come down in four in, in the two years from now. That's what Jay Powell's working on right now. Suddenly, you'll have the biggest check ever, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rare Oil Benefits, and the cost of milk and eggs and Costco pizza, <laughs> maybe, uh, will be the cheapest of a generation. That's how it's going to work. Just absolutely incredible. And you heard it all in this recording. You should be ecstatic because you got your benefits locked in to the highest price point of inflation before it started to track lower in that personal consumption expenditure index number released on Friday. With that, let's jump into the other breaking stories that are so important because you are here to learn and earn. And there's a lot of major twists and turns going on with this economy. I mean, it just is jugular. Let's go over the latest details we learned going into last week and what we're seeing going into the new week as well. So, Consumer confidence numbers were released by the University of Michigan on Friday, and consumers were more confident. This is September data, slightly more confident. But when asked by the University of Michigan in the poll, what do they think about inflation, they thought inflation was worse. Fascinating. Then, existing home sales, were they up or down? Jump in the live chat. What do you think? Up or down? Let's look at the data right now. This is an easy one. If you said down, you got it right. Penny home sales were down 10%. In September, which is dramatically worse than the markets were looking at 4% down. In fact, how bad is this number? 10% down for home, existing home sales. Lowest level, 
lowest number, excluding the pandemic, since June of 2020. There we go again with that year. We're right looking at that recessionary data again, fascinating across the board. Here is what's happened with that $6 trillion of market capitalization gone because of that tech wreck. Apple, before it rallied up 9% on Friday, had been down 22% this year. Microsoft, down 35% this year. This is from its all-time highs. Alphabet, 38, 39%. Amazon, down 50%. Tesla, down 46%. And Meta, down 75% year uh, from its all-time highs. We had Exxon beat, we had Caterpillar beat, we had Chevron beat. That's not a surprise as across the board. But um, there is a lot of pain for the markets going forward. I think the market rally is a breathtaking, spacey rally, but there could be pain going forward, says Chairman Swiss Switzerland's Board of Advisors in a brand new comment obtained by LA News, Beat Whitman. That's the person's name, Chairman. So let me go over where I put this at. I know this looks very confusing, but let me put this where I, uh, where I have this at. First, let's talk with data. Was there any data on Friday that would justify the rally of the market up? No, we didn't get really, really any data. We still will have inflation. Jay Powell will still be raising interest rates whole rest this year, next year and the year after to battle inflation. So that really didn't change. Personal consumption of Spanish index showed a slight improvement for inflation, but you know, less than 1%. I mean, it was no great celebration mode. Number two, labor. Do we show that people's salaries have gone up substantially in the last 30 days? No. So that, that story has not changed. Where do we start the month at? America Express and Bank of America is where we started at when they told us the spending by Americans is at the worst levels we have ever seen of a generation. They are carrying more credit card debt than we've ever seen. Okay, so now let's sort of start to do the analysis together. One. Americans are spending money. We see that. And they're spending a lot of it. And when you look at the data for something like a McDonald's and they're selling out of everything, that means the consumer is going to McDonald's. They're buying a lot. So the consumer is spending a lot of money at McDonald's. Does the consumer have more cash on hand to spend than they did the month before? No. We know from the data on the salaries, the salaries have not gone up. So it's not like they've made more money in the last 30 days. Okay. Next, where are they getting the cash to spend the money from? American Express and Bank of America answers this question for us. They're getting it from raising credit card debt. They're just taking, they're putting more things on the credit card. Okay, so that doesn't look like good data. Why would the companies be up? Because the companies are based upon what currently is happening in their bottom line. So if McDonald's has a consumer coming in spending money, they're not going to report to you, well, the consumer bought a, a, a hamburger on credit card debt. That's not what corporate earnings is about. They just report, we have, we have a lot of sales. We have a lot of sales. It's for you and I to analyze why would there be a lot of sales? Where are the people getting this cash to spend the money? Credit card debt. Okay, so then let's pull back a little bit. If you and I understand this, then why would the stocks be up? And they're not just slightly up, folks. Again, these are stocks that have some cases traded, that have been public for 40 years, public for 80 years, public for 100 years, and they're trading at levels they have never seen ever. And this has all happened in a matter of a few days, a few weeks. Earlier this month, we didn't have this. If this sounds a little bit scary, it should, which brings us back to that scary line. The last time we had a month like this going straight up was January, 1980, uh, January 1989, I believe, if I remember, the, I remember these dates by heart. And what also happened that year, October of that year, was the worst stock market crash ever, 23% down in one day. Where should we be looking at this then? You should be very, very cautious that the data does not really justify what's happening for the spending. When you look at the corporate sales, they do have that corporate sales. So don't, don't underestimate it. These companies are posting these corporate sales. But let me go more into the detail of these numbers. And this is where you're not going to see this analysis anywhere else except here. These companies downward guided. 
These companies normally would have had for a temp for a third quarter, let's say a ten dollar third quarter. But they said earlier this year, no, we're having some problems. We're worried about the macroeconomics like inflation or recession. We're going to downward guide to eight dollar third quarter when we report in October. And then they came in at nine dollars. So they beat after they downward guide, and everyone was ecstatic. Should they? One of the things we've learned over the last year on this channel is that there is a sentiment out there which you really can't explain, but it started in the pandemic, this sort of exuberance that's unjustified where people just sort of flock like a pack of ants and do the same thing at the same time that is often unjustified. We saw it during the Dogecoin rally in spring of last year where people are trying to tell you Doge is going to go a dollar never did. It went to seven cents. Then we saw it with the MEM stocks where people said buy AMC and then, you know, the, the rest is all history. That unjustified exuberance where everyone tells you to do something is certainly indicative of what's happening with the stock prices right now. So what am I implying? Well, just because a stock goes up doesn't mean the company is doing that much better than it was 30 days ago. Moreover, a lot of people have investments, and those investments have lost a lot of valuation this year. They may have taken some losses by selling some stocks and taking big losses, or sold some crypto and took some losses. And the opportunity to get some profits in there in a bad year, well, they had an opportunity to make some real good profits on Friday. So is this a sort of an opportunity to sort of, you know, jump at a jugular reaction and sort of grab something that'll give them a nice, you know, chunk of change for a few days before it actually turns the other direction, that's ultimately for you to decide. But my opinion of the situation is the data does not justify the numbers. There is nothing in this economy, macroeconomics, inflation, recession, labor, uh, growth, there's nothing in uh, consumer confidence, there's nothing out there that suggests that any company that's been public since 1927 should have its best stock performance of its, of uh, 80 years, 90 years this week. I mean, there's, there's, <laughs> it sounds ridiculous when I'm saying it. It sound, it must, it, it, it's, it feels ridiculous when I say it and the sound ridiculous for you to listen as well. Was there anything great, stellar, just shockingly wonderful about this economy that happened in the last, you know, week that would justify a stock going to the highest level since 1927? No. <laughs> I mean, uh, hello, you know, Earth to Mars. No. <laughs> so, why why is this happening bubbles are like this where things don't justify what's going on is this a bubble that's about to burst well ultimately what i want you to know is for purposes of you and this economy there's a lot of twists and turns but ultimately we leave with the data the data today is the following Inflation is still at about 8%, has not come down, and j Powell needs to raise those interest rates, and has said he will, all this year, next year, and the year after, until he gets it down to 2%. So that story has not changed. Recession. We are in a recession, because the negative quarters of GDP growth have been posted. And yes, the third quarter was positive. That doesn't mean we're not a recession. doesn't mean we're at a recession. As the former head of TD Ameritrade said on Thursday, most Americans are feeling the pressure of recession. Moreover, here's the fourth data point, and this is the one I always go back to because it's a really, really important data point. When asked, the vast majority of Americans say that they have credit card debt that is over six months and they don't have the cash to pay for it. When reported, Bank America and American Express said they have never seen credit card level debts this high in recorded history. So we know there's massive debt. We know that people's salaries have not gone up. That's very basic elements. People are spending, they don't have the cash for it, and something's not gonna come good out of that. They're spending at corporate America, and corporate America doesn't care whether they have the cash or not. That's not part of their equation. It's part of our equation, because where are they gonna be? Here, to get stimulus. You don't wait, you get as much stimulus as you can. You use John Maloof as your inspiration. You use Spelly as your inspiration. And Johnny and Mark and Lorraine and Nisi, you keep on getting these sums of money. And what you do is you start with one check and you get another check. 
You go onto this video, you become a member. You go onto this video, join this channel. You get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 9 o'clock Central, and you go down and apply for check A, go down and apply for check B, and you continue through each of these credible checks. And when you hear a check like Spelly Hurt, John Malus, check of check N for the brand new tablet, you pounce, you get checks, and you keep on getting checks. You're making me really proud, and you're probably making yourself really proud as well, because now you understand where this is, and you understand how bizarre a lot of these twists and turns are, and how they're changing so dramatically by almost the day. I'll have more about it on Afternoons Today, a brand new show at 3 o'clock. From the shores of San Marco, California, become a member, stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.